Welcome to Awaken Blue Heart Tarot. For those that are joining for the first time, my name is Danielle. For those who are back, hey y'all. <laughs> How you guys doing? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, jump into your reading for the second half of the month. This is going to be starting from today, uh, September the 16th, up until September the 30th. All right, Aries. So, yeah, let's see what's going on for you guys. Hope everybody's... Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Hope everybody's been doing great. Um, but first card that just flew out very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay. Let's see what else we have, Aries. Two more cards for Aries, please. Finances and career. <clears throat> Excuse me. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay. One more card for Aries, please. There it is. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Whew. All right, Aries. Let's see what's going on. So for some of you guys, you definitely need to decide what you want. I feel like some of you guys are in a three-party situation. Um... And maybe, or maybe you're just trying to decide between two people, you know, do you go back and deal with your ex or maybe do you deal with someone new? Um, I do feel like money is a play in this as well. Maybe somebody doesn't have money. The other person does, but you like the other one better. You know, Hey, <laughs> no judge. Okay. I'm not judging anybody here, but yeah, let's see. Let's see what's going on. The Aries. Okay. That feels good. All right, Aries, let's see what's going on. Oh, y'all had something trying to come out already. <laughs> All right, Aries, let's go. Let's see what's going on. All right, woo, look at that. The sun, bottom of the deck. All right, so you guys just want happiness here. Did I tell y'all something kept trying to jump out? Look, and your car came out. Listen, look, I mean, you can't make this up. Aries, you are looking for stability in your life. And at this point, it's like... You're keeping quiet about something. Tell me about the Knight of Wands in reverse, please. Yeah, it's like you guys want to come out of conflict, but maybe some of you guys aren't speaking up. You could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, with the King of Swords in reverse, or they're saying you're not cutting something off. Could it be that X that we were just looking at up here? Mm, what y'all doing, Aries? <laughs> or maybe someone is, isn't releasing their ex, but you're feeling like a situation isn't improving here with the Nine of Cups in reverse. Tell me more, please. What's going on with Aries? Aries, okay, so it looks like you're back and forth while making a decision. One minute you're stuck at a crossroads, next minute you made a decision. Tell me about the Two of Swords, please, for Aries. Yeah, okay. You guys are disappointed about something. Tell me about the Three of Swords in reverse. Maybe some of you guys found out about a three-party situation. Or like I said, you're in a three-party situation and you're trying to end it. Or you found out about one and maybe that person ended it. But, you know, could have been dealing with a Scorpio here with death. But it's like something needs to come to an end so that something new can begin. Again, you guys made a decision. What's the decision for Aries, please? Okay, those seeds that you planted, you don't want them to grow anymore. What is going on? You're coming out of worrying about something. Tell me more, please. What's going on with Aries? Okay, the moon. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Pisces here, or I feel like there's some secrets. Tell me about the moon, please. Mm, back and forth. Okay. Some of you guys could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody's definitely emotional. One minute someone's emotional, the next minute it's like they're still emotional, but they're not expressing themselves. Hmm, okay. Yeah, Queen of Swords, okay. Tell me about the Queen of Swords, please. Okay, you guys are embodying the Queen of Swords here. Um, remember, you guys, I don't take the cards being gender specific, so just take whatever fits, you know. But I feel like, you know, you could be coming off really cold and harsh to someone or maybe someone's cold, coming off really cold and harsh to you because it's like, you know, someone is over it, you know. I feel like you try to make something work here and it's like you don't like seeing the results, you know. It, you feel like there's nothing else, you, nothing more that you can do at this point. I have the Ace of Wands, so it's like somebody wants a new beginning here, and they're using their intuition to go after this new beginning. Tell me more. 
tell me more for Aries, please. High Priestess. Using intuition. Okay. What do we have? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, you guys are coming off harsh because, yeah, there was definitely a three-party situation here. Could have been dealing with a fire sign. Um, another Aries like yourself, Leo or Sagittarius. But it's like you're coming off out of being frustrated about the situation. But there was definitely a tower moment that happened or is getting ready to happen. Something needs to come crashing down. Because the way you were building or this person was building, it, it wasn't going to last. And it's like, <clears throat> excuse me, somebody is not moving forward. But the Ace of Pentacles is still here. Maybe somebody wants to, you know, offer you something. Or it's just something that you've been hoping and wishing for you want to take place. Something just flew by my blind. I mean, you can't make this up. <laughs> but with the two of wands in reverse, it's like you don't see balance with this person at all. You know, maybe you were doing everything or you were putting in more of the work and this person just wasn't, you know, it wasn't equal because they were so busy with this third party. That's, they didn't have time. They, that's why they didn't. And it's like you're stuck in your head. You feel like something's been lost here. The fool is in reverse. It's like, you know, you're no longer taking a leap towards this person anymore. But you're sad about it. You're definitely sad. Feeling like something's been lost. Maybe even finances here. Maybe you put in, you know, money with this person or you guys combine resources. And it's like, maybe they took from you. I have the chariot in reverse and the star here. So somebody's dealing with a cancer. Someone else could be dealing with an Aquarius. But it's basically saying that, you know, you're not moving forward right now with this person. But somebody is like trying to stay hopeful, trying to stay positive, but there's a lot of conflict going on. It's like the situation isn't turning around at all. Yeah, somebody feeling like, you know, the situation is not going to improve, but they want happiness. You know, if you guys are worried about money, you know, money's coming in. You're going to be content with money, but I feel like somebody doesn't want you to go. Like, or you don't want someone to go. You still want happiness here, but somebody's definitely spying. Somebody's watching you. Or you could be watching this person due to that three-party situation. And that's why love isn't coming in fast for you guys. It's coming in really slow. Communication is coming in slow. And it's like you don't have a peace of mind about the situation. But I see that you will be coming out of being frustrated about it. But with the world and the devil in reverse, I feel like you have a new beginning coming your way, Aries, just because you walked away from this toxic person. You left this toxic situation alone. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn, but I feel like you're weighing up your options still. You're still trying to figure out what to do. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you guys are embodying the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You're no longer putting any time, effort, or energy into the situation, and you're focusing on yourself, you know? Could be dealing with a Gemini, but, you know, you definitely want love. You know, there was definitely a connection here with this person, but maybe it's like this person just didn't give you balance, or maybe, you know, their money wasn't together. And somebody's worried. Somebody's had to carry the load in the relationship, in the situation. Yeah, look at that. Somebody got stabbed in the back. Again, I, my eyes are looking at all these swords. You know, normally I kind of just look here, but I don't know why I'm looking here. So maybe it's like you keep trying with this person and it keeps stabbing you in the back. And that's why you have to walk away. You know, toxic situation. Mm. You're frustrated. Definitely frustrated. Yeah, look at that. It's an offer coming, guys. Page of Pentacles. Maybe some of you guys went back to school as well, but there's definitely an offer coming. Justice in reverse. Could be from a Libra. If not, it's like the truth came out about a situation here, but you're not being positive. Whatever came out, it's like you're not being positive, and this person is moving really slow to, you know, give you some type of message here. But it's like they're holding back. But they want to tell you that, you know, they want to, they want that happy home life with you, you know. They saw kids. Maybe you guys have kids together. They're trying to come back and fix the situation. But like I said, they're moving slow. Somebody's moving really slow. Could be dealing with a Virgo for some of you guys. If not, it's asking you to take a step back to reevaluate the situation because this person here, you know, they're just really childish. They're, they're very childish. They're very immature. You could have been dealing with someone who's younger than you. Could be dealing with an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But it's like this person wants to give you an offer, but they're having a hard time doing it. Tell me why. You yeah, look, I just said it. They, they want to give you an offer. 
but they feel like there's no victory. That's why they're having a hard time doing it. I feel like they want to come in and fix the situation, but they know they messed up and you're pissed about it. So it's like they want to fix it, but you probably been biting their heads off. <laughs> You probably been going in on them Aries, you know, and that's why they're like, oh, I'm not going to have a victory with her or him, you know? That's too many cards. Well, let me see. What do we have? Something saying take it. Okay. <sighs> let me put them up here. Okay. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Taurus, but it's like, you know, you don't see a commitment with this person. Maybe... <sighs> No, yeah, you don't see a commitment with this person. You feel like there's no security with them. You're stuck in limbo, but I feel like you're walking away. You're going to end up walking away. Or this person walked away from you. Could have been a Leo. Or it's just saying that you don't have strength to deal with it anymore. Because, yeah, this person was being sneaky. They're sneaky. You don't trust them. Could have been a Sagittarius that you were dealing with as well. But there's no balance in the situation. And you cut off communication. You blocked them. They're coming in and maybe they're trying to tell you something, but they can't get through to you. King of Wands in reverse could have been dealing with another fire sign, Aries like yourself, Leo or Sagittarius. But yeah, this person was a player. That's why you feel like they're sneaky. They, they were playing games, you know, and you're back and forth one minute. You know, you made a decision. The next minute you're still weighing up your options, but it's like you want to move forward. Some of you guys just want to move forward away from this person, which is why there's a release your ex card. Some of you guys want to start over with this person. But for the majority of you, I feel like you're just walking away. Tell me more, please. Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody needs to have more confidence in the situation, but they want to apologize to you. Whoever was the one that messed up, they want to come back to apologize. But it's like you're not happy at all. You're not happy in the situation. You're tired of them leaving you out in the cold, but you're getting over it. You know, you're no longer, you're like, I'm done. I'm not going to worry about it. You keep doing the same old, same old, but they do not want to let you go, Aries. Two of Cups. They love you. You love them. Somebody doesn't want to let the other person go. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or you guys can be embodying the Queen of Cups, which is just saying you're really emotional because you love this person, but you're tired because they put you through some BS. You're feeling like the situation isn't going to improve. Maybe their finances aren't improving, or it could be your finances they just took from you. But you still see yourself having a happy home with this person for some of you. Just take whatever fits, guys. The Empress is in reverse. Yeah, but for some of you, you feel like you're not going to have a a new beginning here you want a happy home you love this person but you don't see how the situation can get fixed so you're just ready to leave it alone you're ready to walk away yeah look because it's like ten of cups it's like you don't see that happiness anymore you know and so right now a lot of you guys are throwing yourself into work you're trying to get your finances together you know you're trying to get your money together now and it's like you guys are coming out of being frustrated about the situation and you're expressing yourself you're opening up and you're letting this person know exactly how you feel and you're no longer tolerating this bs anymore all right, Aries. Well, that was your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave me some comments. Let me know if this is resonating for any of you guys. Um, if you would like to have a personal reading, please feel free to email me at awakenblueheartarot at gmail.com. And I got you. All right, Aries. Until next time.